So now that we got the ballpark right, it's time to nail it further down. So we will next look into segmenting and filtering. Specifically, we will want to break down those 72 billion, that is the size of the base market, and we want to break it down to those 4.1 billion on the lower right hand corner, the core market size. So the idea here is to move from the general base market, which is the fashion retail market in Germany in this case, to the core market that's really specific to the client specifics. So here we'll look into the product segments by part of body, product segments by user context, price segments, and eventually the channel to nail this further down. So let's take it from the top then. By part of body, note here that we are interested in apparel, footwear, and accessories, so no jewelry, which gives us 95% of the base market. Next, for the user context product segments, we are only interested in casual wear. So for example, not evening wear or sports wear, things like that. So this gives us 30.1% of those 95%. Please note here that we always need to look into conditional shares. Next, we get the price segments. So here, old fashioned only operates in the mid market segment. So for example, not in the luxury segment, which gives us then 30% of the casual wear, non jewelry market. And finally, old fashioned only operates offline, so we should only take 66% of the market breakdown that we arrived at so far. And this then results in those 4.1 billion euro core market size per annum, which we are interested in, and which is really the core market that old fashioned operates in. Another side note why those conditional probabilities or shares are so relevant, when you look at the offline channel and the price segment, Note here that for the luxury price segment, the offline channel would be 76%, not just 66%. And thus, it's really important that we look at these conditionals. Next time, let's join me for a session on forecasting the development of this base market. So we will look into the macroeconomic conditions, customer preferences, competitive dynamics, and go-to-markets approaches that shape its development.